felt more like slow motion. I think because I got up to the summit, I got my photos and all of that, but then I just said to myself, just really take in this moment and just enjoy what you've just done. It is a bit emotional, you know, you go through a lot of obstacles not knowing if you will reach the summit. And so that belief you had in yourself is just, you're so thankful that you did believe in yourself when you get there. I think more though you enjoy it when you get back to base camp, you're out of danger and it's like now I can just revel in it a little bit. <laughs> I think it's really important to break your goals down. When I wanted to climb Everest, I knew that this was this huge goal that was years away and I knew I had to break it down otherwise it just got too overwhelming reverse engineer so I know that my goal is something like Everest three to five years away I then work out okay what are all the skills and strengths that I need and I slowly work on that so then it's driving me toward that bigger direction there's been other climbers that have inspired me particularly women mountaineers who have really blazed their own trail uh, but my dad was always a massive support and mentor for me and really taught me to believe in myself from such a young age and it then just gave me a lot of confidence special having the girls come up and want me to autograph you know the photos and that for them uh, it just yeah it makes me think that you never know who you've inspired to do what and chase their own goals because you know I was one of them once really so for whatever your Everest is for young people I would say back yourself and believe in yourself I think that was the number one thing that helped me achieve my goal if you have the right mindset the right confidence and you do back yourself Everything else is achievable. You can learn skills, you can improve as long as you believe that you can actually do it.